All right, what's going on, family? This is Paul McMillan II, and welcome to another live binary session. We're actually in the New York session on September 15, 2021. And uh, so we're actually going to look at GPP CAD. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a normal top down analysis. And we're going to actually um, go from the daily time frame to the 15 minute. So this started, I'm going to mark up the most recent high, the most recent low. Most recent low here. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to switch to uh, the four hour. And this is where I'm going to actually mark up basic market structure as well. Uh, I can see equal lows here. So it gives me an indication that price is probably going to spring up. Uh, it didn't knock out this previous high here. Well, technically, I mean, technically, this kind of did. This week is higher than this one. So it gives me an indication that price is probably going to shoot up just a little bit up to here, and then possibly drop. So I may catch a move up to here and then jump out if price jumps in, uh, the price comes out. But we'll see. So you see that there's some good market structure here. So I'm gonna actually take a rectangle tool here. Draw zone but based off of this here. Whoops. Why do, I do that? There we go. I'm going to change this to yellow. All right. Now, we want to figure out what the overall trend is. And from what I can see at this point, um, I would say that price is overall, really when I look at the oscillator, I mean, price is really overall bullish at this point. But I'm going to take the uh, price channel tool. I'm actually going to put this here. You see, price hasn't broken the EMA yet. I think it's safe to say that price is trending upward. So that's what I'm going to put. All right. And so I can say the price is overall bullish. Then I'm going to pull out the Fib. So the 50% of 6180, ice did kind of respect it here, jump up, and then it didn't pull back to the 50%. That's why I did an impulsive move there. So really when I can bring this up to the most recent low here, ice is respecting that 51, the 60% here. So I'm going, I'm going to actually take the rectangle tool and just kind of line that up. So that way I know the final line where it is at. So, um, okay, okay. The price respected was 50% in the 6180 here, and that's what's making price push up and then even pull up to here. So this is actually a good uh, big level for that level. So now we're going to move on to the one hour just to confirm price is moving that direction. It is. You can see price is really pushing up. So <clears throat> I'm just going to draw in a trend line here. And you can see it. And then when I pull out the fib once more, uh, 
go from the most recent low here to the most recent high. Uh, you see price is still respecting the 51 percent, uh, uh, 6180 to 50 percent. So I'm just going to draw a new. Um, this goes away, but actually, uh, there we go. I'm going to draw a new rectangle. Send the 6180 right here. Uh, uh, price is respecting that, just making price go up. So then that confirms that we are right in our uh, analysis as far as identifying the trend. And so now that's when we go to the 15 minute. You can see price is actually steadily pushing up. See? So I really believe that price is gonna push all the way up to here. And then it's probably gonna probably gonna shift and get on down. Um, because price knocked out the uh this this previous high, knocked it all out. So when I look at the oscillator, it looks like that price is trending upward. So then what I'm gonna do is actually turn on my indicators. Now this breakout looks like it's already happened. And we see that the yellow has crossed over the blue line, the jelly line. So then price is already breaking out, but the question is, is there any juice left in this to actually jump in this trade? And that's a very good question. So I would have to wait for the next candle to see. Um, I'm not gonna necessarily ju jump into this candle here because we basically should have gotten at the beginning of this candle because we definitely would have made some money scalping this on the 30 second timer but what i'm going to do is, is wait for the next candle and see if price is going to push up just a little bit more to up here before maybe reversing down but if it pushes all the way up to here and then forms the banker's candle and then price decides to reverse and shoot on down then i'm going to scalp that bearish candle all the way down <clears throat> because that's an institutional candle. So what I'm going to do is, is pause this recording. <clears throat> I'm going to actually wait to see what the next candle is going to do and see if we can actually get into another candle. But I'm not going to stop this yet because <clears throat> it's already did and run. So I need to see if there's any juice left in this, uh, in, uh, any juice left in this trend to go another round before entering. So what I'm going to do is pause this recording. I'm going to wait and we'll see where we're at in about four, four minutes and, you know, 30 some seconds. Be right back. All right, so we have 48 seconds, about 48 seconds left for the next candle to form. So we'll see exactly what happens with this. Um, so I pause this recording. I'll update you later. Okay, so now we're on the next candle. We'll see what the next candle does. I believe this candle is probably going to pull back or it's going to possibly push up. The yellow line is pushing up more over the purple line. Definitely went over the blue line. So <clears throat> uh, we'll see. Now, what I want to find out is, is this a banker's candle? And if it is and it starts to pull back heavy and starts pushing down, then I'm going to scalp that and put in the put. But if it pushes up and forms another uh, master or bearish or bullish engulfing candle, then I'm going to uh, uh, scalp that. So uh, we'll see in a couple minutes if it starts pushing up or not. If not, we'll wait for the next candle. Be right back. All right, so it looks like price is pushing up. What we're going to do is we're going to wait and see this thing. Yeah, it's pushing now. Let me go ahead and put in my put option. I wonder if I can find, find it. So we got 10, 9, <clears throat> 5, 4, 3, Two, one. All right, so we made four hundred and ninety-eight dollars on this. 
Bam. You pushed up. Now, let me actually calculate this. So, 600. Six hundred plus four ninety-eight. That would equal five. So I actually made a little bit more than four hundred and ninety-eight off of that. Six hundred plus four ninety-eight. Yeah, I made a little bit more off of that. Interesting. Okay. So. <clears throat> I just made $498. So I'm gonna calculate that with my calculator here. $498. If I did that five days a week, $9,000 a month. So wow, that's good. Might even be able to put in another one. I'm gonna see if this candle really starts storming up and I might put in another call. We'll see. But if not, then we'll stick with the 498 profit for the day. Uh, is this in the way? Okay. Okay, gotta get that out of the way. So I'm gonna pause this recording to wait six minutes and see what the next candle going to do and let's see if we can get another one in we'll try to push it up a little bit more so we'll see if not then we'll stick with our uh 498 profit all right so be right back all right so it looks like the price is not really moving right now but we did win did win that trade um so we're actually just going to um in this session uh because we actually made 400 about 498, maybe about 500 dollars off of that trade. So we have to get good. So I'll see you guys in the next uh, session. Take care.